Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we have this 2004 BMW Z4. This car was not actually the car I was meant to be cleaning and with using the Lotus before the weather properly turned I was a bit limited on equipment so I didn't have everything necessary for cleaning a soft top car. But I worked through with what I did have and the results were pretty good for a car of this age. Firstly, I decided to give the entire car a full rinse down. This was to remove the top layer of dirt and any dust. At this point, I was careful not to get anywhere near the roof as I would be going over it later. The fuel filler cap area was pretty dirty and probably hadn't been cleaned in a while. I've gone in with Auto Bright Citrus Wash at a 1 to 8 ratio to help really cut through the grime. As you can see, it took quite a bit of going over and the whole area was peppered. Onto the roof, and as I didn't know I was cleaning the convertible today, I didn't actually bring the right chemicals or tools. It was growing algae in various locations and it couldn't be left or simply sponged over. So back in with Auto Bright Citrus Wash. This time, however, I'm using the stiff wheel brush I have. I'm using a various cross hatch patterns to try to target the weave in various angles to help loosen and remove the dirt effectively. And as you can see, rinsing off, there's loads of nice green bits of algae in the water. The wheels were then up next and actually pretty clean, so I've gone in with Auto Bright's wheel and tyre cleaner at a 10 to 1 ratio in the IK Foam Pro 2. I like using this as it gives a really nice consistent thick foam. And I've gone in with a stiff tyre brush to help pull and scrub away any dirt from the tyre wall. The easy detail brush for inside the bowels and also Auto Bright's DBS wheel brush for the wheel nuts and the tyre valve. Finally, I'm using Auto Bright's Wheel Woolly to help clean the rest of the alloys before finishing off with a rinse down. The exhausts were given a foam with the wheel and tyre cleaner before being poked with the Easy Detail USA brush to help remove some of the light surface dirt. The bodywork was then treated to Auto Bright's Jelly Bean Snow Foam. As I've said many times before, I really like using Auto Bright Super Foams. They're incredibly good, they don't remove any sealants, waxes or ceramics.
As this car was going to be sold soon, and since it had already been pressure washed before the snow foam, I've gone in at the foaming stage with a brush in all the shut gaps. Given the age and the original condition of the paintwork, it's unlikely I'm going to cause any additional noticeable marring. That's not to say it should be done all the time, but in certain scenarios it's okay to do so. The Z4 was then given a rinse down to remove all the snow foam. Shampoo, and as this was filmed weeks ago near Halloween, I was using their limited edition Halloween shampoo. Wash mitt wise, I'm using Auto Bright Lambs Wool Wash Mitt for the higher parts of the car. And then for the lower panels and the side skirts, I'm onto a red micro. The Z4 was then given a dry with a couple of drying towels and my big boy blower buddy to help remove any water from the shut gaps. The wheels were absolutely terrible on this car for holding water so it took a lot longer to clean them and dry them than I've shown here on camera. They just seemed to hold all the water in the centre caps and it almost didn't stop. So for finishing the bodywork, and as I said, the car was going to be sold soon, so I needed a product that would deliver maximum gloss whilst providing some protection and not costing a fortune. So I've decided to use Auto Bright Ceramic Refresh Pro. This product only needs a very small amount of spraying onto a panel, after which it's then wiped over to spread it, and a few minutes later buffed off with a separate cloth. This is another one of their products that I really like using and it can be used on an existing true ceramic coating, on a foam ceramic coating or as I've done on the Z4 here, completely standalone product. The tyres were then given a good going over with Auto Bright's tyre gel before moving on to the exhaust with Auto Bright's Metalworks. This is a nice, thick, creamy polish similar to Autosol. As I was travelling light and this wasn't a car that's meant to be cleaning today, I didn't bring any wire wool with me. So, although the exhausts are better, they're certainly not up to the standard I would have wanted. I also use grey cloths here as I like to separate them from the bodywork or interior cloths that I use. 
the windscreen was in quite bad condition and certainly hadn't seen any glass polish for quite a while. So I've used Autobrite's glass polish all over the windows, followed by glass cleaner to help remove any excess residue. When cleaning windows, I also find it's a good time to give your wipers a good clean. I use glass cleaner on a microfiber and then pinch the blades to help remove any ingrained dirt from the actual wiper blades themselves. The final step for the windows was to apply Autobrite's repel. For me, I found the best way to use this is on a microfiber applicator pad. Spread it in a crosshatch pattern and then use a buffing cloth to remove. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you purchase anything through the links below, I may receive some small commission. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.